So in stream, the idea of this time critical movement, removal action is we're going to remove all the sediment that's greater than one part per million in those sub areas E, F, and G, right? The downstream sediment areas. We're gonna remove that sediment as part of it. We're gonna stabilize the banks, do like a 25 foot pullback where we're gonna make them stable from an area that's about two and a half miles upstream of the dam, and I'll, I'll show you why in a second, and then remove the Trowbridge Dam. That's all the work that, that NCR is gonna do as part of the removal action and uh, from there. So that's a lot of work, and, um, and it will be very similar to what happened at Siegel, as far as how the banks will be stabilized, what it might look like. We're gonna you know, rely upon some of those lessons learned to go. So this shows you kind of these highlighted in orange. These are the areas that will be, let's say, that, that are greater than one that probably have to be excavated. And this is sub area E, F, and G. So you can visually see that um, from there. And then um, this is, you know, so the dam is there. We're gonna stabilize the banks from this point, from here all the way downstream. All the banks need to be stabilized and, and addressed. Now, um, some of them, the, the reddish have concentrations greater than five parts per million, some don't. We're gonna, they're gonna resample a bunch of this. And the reason why we're gonna, we're gonna kinda stabilize the banks or create a clean buffer from this point downstream is, this is the upstream influence when you take the dam out. So we, we, we use some models, and basically they're called hydrodynamic models, they're flow models, they're basically, they're pretty straightforward engineering models that can kinda determine you know, when you take the dam out, what's the upstream influence? And that's the upstream influence about that point right there. Pretty sure. So we're going to stabilize the banks as part of that removal as well. So all that's part of it. Um, let's see. To give you some idea in volume, real quick, is that the soil volume is about 15,000 cubic yards, and the sediment volume is about 165,000 cubic yards, we've estimated. So that's about 180,000 cubic yards total. Now, what does that mean? Um, it's a lot more than we've done, we've had to remove in the other removals. It's a much larger project. Um, I think, uh, you know, I'm hopeful that, like in some of the other projects, we may have overestimated uh, those volumes. Um, we overestimated the volumes were higher than we estimated in Otsego uh, than what we ended up digging up, but, you know, we're gonna resample, you don't know. So, but, so we have to estimate them, that gives you some idea. But the point being, it's a much larger removal project.